Hey Aquarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for February 4th to the 5th of 2022. Alright, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Aquarius. What's going on with my Aquarians in the next 48 hours? Whoa. What does Aquarius need to know for February 4th to the 5th of 2022? Y'all seem to be struggling with these cards, right? <laughs> Two more shuffles for Aquarius next 48 hours. February 4th to the 5th of 2022 for Aquarius. One more shuffle. February 4th to the 5th of 2022 for Aquarius. All right, let's get into it. The next 48 hours for Aquarius. I just got to make sure y'all get a good shuffle in. All right, we have 41, which is also a five. Sundress, do it for you. Yesterday, I pulled that card for a different sign. I forget, but I thought of Sundance when I saw it. It's like a Sundance festival or like independent movies or artists. And we had 30 castle it come oh, it's time for healing not war i immediately got an age here 30 and 41 um 12 which is also a three expectations don't seek anyone's approval and the overall is 19 which is also a 10 lavender surround yourself with love so i instantly got like time stamps like at different ages you're looking back when you were 12, 30, 41, 19, whatever. Or these could be like dot dates, birth dates, whatever. Or these could be um, three to four different people in your life as well. But I'm getting, don't, you're not afraid to dance. So don't be afraid to dance. Maybe you dance at night. Something to do with the dance with sundress. I get sun dance, but it doesn't have to be the a festival. I'm getting music festival as well as a movie festival. And it's like she's out in the snow, but she's wearing a dress. So and it says do it for you, even if it seems unorthodox or weird or it doesn't make sense or it looks crazy. Do it for you. I mean, that's typical for an Aquarius, though, right? Make sure you're doing it for yourself, no one else even if it looks crazy or weird to others. And we have Castle, it comes with time. Ugh, I keep getting mixed up. It's time for healing, not war. I wanna say it comes with time and practice so bad. But that's a totally different card. It's called Confidence. I don't know why I wanna say that. But it says Castle, it's time for healing, not war. So you're not meant to be fighting anymore. You reach a time in your life where it's not, yeah, just stop fighting it. Stop fighting who you are. Stop fighting what it is you want to do. Because I feel like you've been trying to fight against other people's opinions. or try to. It's like you're trying to push back on something that just won't move. It's only slowing you down. There's nothing for you there. It's barren land. But right here, we have sundress. And it's like, you're much brighter. You're much happier. Even though you stand out. Even though you look, quote unquote, crazy to other people. You're happy. And then you, you think back to a time when you were um, 12 and maybe you didn't care about other people's expectations. Or like, yeah, when you were three or 12, um, expectations don't seek anyone else's approval. So I feel like you've been covering yourself or hiding yourself or just trying to fight against the opinion or prove people wrong when really you just need to like be yourself. And you're trying to get back into that energy that you had when you were a carefree, carefree adolescent. New of RNG is lavender. Surround yourself with love. So maybe when you were 19 or like, I don't know. The number 19 is significant to someone. <laughs> but it's like back in those times, maybe you felt as though you had people around you that accepted you. Maybe when you were in college or you could currently be in college. I don't know. But you had people around you that supported you. They didn't care about your differences. They even shared a lot of your similarities, um, a lot of your hobbies or the way you think. Even if you were very different from your friends, they supported you. They didn't judge you for being different. And it's saying surround yourself with love for people who uplift you. Now, again, it does not have to be people who have similar interests as you. Like, it's great to have friends who are into what you are into as well. But sometimes those people could be judgy as well. So it's just like, you have people around you that no matter what you like practice or celebrate, they're supportive. And I feel like, yeah, you're getting back into that. It's like not conforming. And it's not just for the sake of not conforming. It's because like, it's just who you are. You're tired of like trying to push or fight or break down an immovable wall of something that's not changing. 
people that's not going to stop judging you because whether or not you decide to conform to what other people want you to be or stand out you're going to get judged either way i've been there done that too many times sorry for aquarius next 48 hours for aquarius february 4th to the 5th of 2022 for aquarius i'm sorry i'm struggling with these freaking cards because i just saw the b as a three for some reason i'm getting like 13 or like three four five or something like that i don't know why i drew my b and it looks like a 13 <laughs> but anyway february 4th to the 5th of 2022 for aquarius last shuffle next three hours for aquarius We have the Queen of Swords. There you are. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. And then here we are. So your celebration, your friends, your tribe with the Three of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. Overall energy is the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're like an art student, whether or not you actually are an art student. You're just taking on that art student type of energy and vibe. You're someone who's very creative. I don't know if you have a, like a toy gun. You're into Star Wars. It's like one of those guns where you push the button and it lights up and it makes the pew pew sound. It's like one of those old toys, like a radio. And like, or you're, I feel like you have a headset on, like a radio, or you're just into like action figures. Or like old shows or cartoons. I'm getting Battlestar Galactica. I'm getting like dragons and all that stuff. You're just into like wizardry or like old stuff, old school stuff. You're in old school stuff is what I'm getting here with the Knight of Wands. And it's funny because I'm getting adolescent energy. I feel like you were more of a fiery type of energy back then. Even though you're an Aquarius, I feel like you had a lot of fire zest to you. I feel like you're setting that part of yourself free again. You're reuniting with that part of yourself by surround and it'll attract those people to you as well. Or you're going back to those people that you had in your life around that time, possibly. Again, with expectations, don't seek anyone's approval. You're, yeah, you're getting back into that energy with the Knight of Wands being right under that. The Knight of Wands, if there's any knight that does not conform, it's this one. <laughs> they go where the wind takes them and they don't let anyone stop them from getting what they want. And with the Knight of... But you do it with a flair, zest, of creativity, and fire here. And with the Knight of Pentacles, you work hard. You work hard at it. And there's nothing wrong with working hard. But I feel like you were trying to take on an energy that was not your own. You were trying to take on like a, a Earth energy, a Virgo, a Taurus, or Capricorn energy. And it, it was good for a while. The grind was great. But it's like, that's not, that's not your energy. You're meant to be the Knight of Wands right now. I mean, you can very well work hard, work your ass off, but it's like you were being very meek and boring about it. It's like you were out here dressed with the boots and the jeans and long sleeve and gray and darkness, and you are you were meant to be out there like this, or vice versa, you know, whichever one fits. Maybe you wear a lot of black and people don't like it, so they tell you to dress more colorful. Maybe you dress colorful all the time. People tell you to dress more like an adult. I don't know, but flip it where it goes. You're done listening to what other people want you to do. You're going to put on your all black or you're going to put on your colorful dress. Or people tell you like it's too cold outside for you to be dressing like that. Or you're going to do it anyway. Like you're just doing what you want because that's what makes you feel comfortable. And trying to change other people's opinions of you by either conforming or trying to convince people something, it's, it's going to drain you. So if I just see you stepping in your truth, overall energy being the Ace of Swords, stepping into your truth and standing by it, not trying to prove anything to anyone. With the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups, I feel like, yeah, Ten of Swords, I feel like there's some people from your past, old friends, because I'm feeling like this is a friend reading, like coworker, family, friend. I'm not really feeling any love here, exes or anything like that, like romance. I'm not feeling that. I'm just feeling family and friends, maybe coworkers. They, they talked a lot of shit about you. You had a lot of people in your life, like old friends or family members or coworkers that put you down, talk shit about you a lot. And they did that on purpose. They talked a lot of shit about you behind your back as well. And it's like, you're realizing that no matter what you do, you, you'll never like get the approval that you uh, seek from these people or you'll never be able to change people's minds about you. So you might as well just be yourself, be who you are and have fun with it. Instead of trying to be quote unquote an adult 
um believe in dragons wizards and watch your old like um your old shows I, I don't know why i got battle star galactica and star wars and stuff like that if that's the stuff you're into be into it all right, let's clarify this. I'm getting TV static a lot. Like I'm getting like a lot of the radio or TV static or something like that. Like maybe you're into cosplay or battle reenactments or something. And I feel like you and someone else meet because you're both dressed like aliens. Or you meet someone here. If you've always been wanting to go to like a convention or you stopped doing it, or if it's something that you really want to do that people have been telling you not to do, just do it. I feel like you find yourself at some type of battle reenactment or some cosplay or something. You find yourself with a headset on with antennas and someone else has an antenna. And you both are like, they come with a sword and you come with like a gun. And it's like, it's a reenactment. You're having fun. Maybe it's an online game or something. But you meet like a good group of people who support you, who are into the things you're into, even though you may have slight tastes or differences your costume's slightly different but you're in it together <laughs> so maybe one day you want to dress uh, with dark colors next day you want to dress with light colors you know i feel like this is how you meet this person though you may meet them like i said online playing a video game because i feel like you're dressed up like it's a fantasy game so it's a dress up thing or also it could be symbolic of you re reuniting with yourself by playing with your old toys or old costumes or doing something like this as well but let's clarify this for Aquarius clarify this message for Aquarius I'm gonna give you three more shuffles clarify this message for Aquarius please spirit clarify all right let's do it let's pull these cards All right, clarifying the Queen of Swords is the Eight of Cups, walking away from just being cold. I also get cold or gray or drab or stiff or still, because I'm getting like the Queen of Swords is seen as an ice queen, cold, detached. That's not who you are. Or people stereotype you as that Aquarius or you come off that way like, but that's not who you are people see you as a stickler or that's who they want you to be i feel like you t went stoic and cut off all your emotions because you you just wanted to change people's opinion of you or you wanted to shut people out or shut out your old self or ma be mature or seem mature you cut off a part of yourself it's like you are a hollow shell of ice it's like if someone dropped you you crack like your eyes were dull you just you weren't present you weren't here you just were wearing a shell a hollow shell there was no depth it's because you were wearing a mask. Or you cut off all feeling and emotions to conform. You detached yourself to make others happy. Like, for instance, maybe you wanted to go to art school and when you were younger, you were so much more colorful and full of life. But it's like people here and there had said the same thing multiple times, tone it down, grow up, this, that, and the third. So you put on that mask for them and you iced your true self out, hollowed yourself out until you were just a, a hollow shell of your former self. Five of wands. You're walking away from being cold and detached, trying to be mature, or grown up, or just distant or unbothered, or detached, whatever it is. Clarifying the Queen of Swords is the Eight of Cups and the Five of Wands. You're walking away from that. The conflict and competition, trying to like prove people wrong or impress anyone. You're just walking away from that detached, cold part of yourself and you're doing it for yourself. It's like, I'm not doing anything for attention anymore. I'm not doing anything for appearances anymore. I'm just going to be who I am and it doesn't matter. That's, that's just keep getting that message for you. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles is the Magician, Gemini, and Virgo. So there could have been a Gemini or a Virgo in your life trying to manipulate you or the workforce trying to manipulate you into being a robot. Yeah, it's like you were living like a robot. You felt like a robot. That's what I was getting at. Yeah, Queen of Cups. It could have been a water sign as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or a Gemini or a Virgo. Someone was very manipulative. They wanted you to like, they dressed you up. It's like mind control, brainwashing you. It doesn't literally have to be brainwashing, but someone got it in your head from a very young age that you were supposed to be like a soldier or a robot and conform. Take off all that extra shit you're wearing and be basic, you know? 
that's basically what they trained you up to be. And it's like you have your mind control headset on and you're posing and you're getting the approval that they want so they can take a picture and post it on Facebook. It's like, maybe you went off to, you're, they're telling you to go off to the military or you went off to the military. They're telling you to get a part of the workforce. It's like this person wants to drain all color from you and make you conform so that it looks good on Facebook. Very superficial. That's giving me parent vibes. <laughs> And it's funny because the person who would be taking the pictures, like they stole all your color. Look how colorful they are. It's like they wasted their life. So they want you to be who they couldn't be or something. I don't know. <laughs> Clarifying the three of cups is the strength card, Leo. I'm getting so many different versions of that. Well, like clarifying the three of cups is the star card is where, well, here you are, Aquarius. That's reuniting with yourself. Like I said before, healing. That is very healing. Cause I feel like you went gray rock or you just you conformed and you just hollowed out your old self your inner self and threw it away and became this very blue very cold person um you may want to check out the virgo reading as well because i was getting like a blue face and big pockets for either i think it was virgo Yeah, it definitely was Virgo. A blue face and big pockets is what I kept getting. And I'm just seeing you have very blue skin. And I'm getting the word blue faces. So that could be money or that could be like, I know there's an artist called blue face. So something could come up about that person. I don't know if they're an Aquarius or not, but I was, I was getting that. I'm gonna write that down because I got that for Virgo too, blue faces. And I just tasted a push pop or a ring pop. I don't know if you're eating one right now or your kid is, but I, I just tasted it and I haven't had a push pop or whatever in years. I don't really eat hard candy like that. So I haven't had that in like years. I just literally tasted a push pop or ring pop. Blue faces or blue face. And then that's funny because his name is Blueface Baby or he says that in his song. His name is Blueface, but he says Blueface Baby and I'm getting a push pop. So maybe your child has purple or blue lips from eating a push pop or you do. I don't know why that was important, but if that resonates for you, this you need to tune in because I'm not done with this reading just yet. So it may have nothing to do with the rapper. It could just be like, they just want you to tune in. All right, clarif I had to write it down real quick. Clarifying the Knight of Wands is the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords. Overall energy is the Queen of Wands. So you could be, like I said, your younger self was like a fire sign. <laughs> there you are. Also, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I strongly feel like this is you, all right? On the outside, you, because I feel like the stereotypical thing for Aquarians is to be detached and cold. And I feel like you're melting that like hollow outside and the fiery part of you is coming out. The fart, it's like, I said fart, oh my God. <laughs> Comment down below the cloud emoji if you heard that, y'all. But anyway. <laughs> I feel like the fiery side, I'm literally seeing like, this was you, you were, you were brought up to be this like icy shell and then your the fire is coming out, melting that shell away. And it's literally, she goes from cold and drab to like fiery and creative with pencils in her hair. It's like, that's just who you are. <laughs> yeah, and right behind that's the six of swords. You're letting it go, letting it go that like what people want you to be. And with the Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands, clear, like the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords. So 44 is significant, obviously, but what I'm getting here is, it's like you're securing, like by, by reverting back to who you were when you were like 12 or an adolescent, when you were young and, and full of life and no one could tell you anything and you didn't care what other people thought of you. When you put yourself back into that state, you build an empire by doing that. So by not seeking anyone's approval, by allowing your true or childlike self to emerge and come back, because I feel like it's, it's really not up to you anymore. 
you've repressed this part of yourself for too long and I feel like lately you've been noticing signs of you like having random outbursts or saying things you normally wouldn't in in a very good way it's like you're usually the quiet like stoic mature cold or grown-up person in the group right but it's like for some reason you randomly feel the need to say like random things like if someone does something funny or they trip you say like a meme or something to quote that or to like you just you start being the funny guy of the group pretty much or the jokester and it's in it just comes out of you it's because you've been repressing it for so long or if some creative aspects of you come out and i feel like it's being radioed to your head it's like interference it's like you and the other self are trying to reconnect I feel like some of you are also watching a show like that with like people wearing antennas or they're like astronauts or they wear they like have on these body suits and it's like interference it's like your old self is trying to get in contact with you and you don't even realize that because I'm getting like a radio head as well it's like a radio on your head with antennas sheesh I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why these messages are like that today but all the messages have been just extra wild like extra detailed today I don't know why I'm getting like you have a radio on your head or your head is like a radio. And you really, you, uh, oh my gosh, you literally can't stop this from happening. Like you're about to return back to who you were and it's not up to you. So it's not about you allowing it to happen. It's going to happen either way. But the process would go a lot smoother if you would just allow yourself to blurt out those quote unquote dumb things that you don't want to say. So you're not blurting out anything insulting. It's just that you're blurting out what you've repressed, what you usually or naturally would say. And I got the son of the mask, like when Jim Carrey puts on the mask and that guy just says and does the wildest stuff, but normal, regular, whoever his name was in the movie <laughs> would not do that. And I feel like that's that's funny. Like the mask is slipping. It's like you just can't control it anymore. Or it's like at first it was a mask, but for some reason he couldn't take it off. It it kind of consumed him. So just um, take that as you will, because I feel like I explained it backwards. <laughs> but you get it. Son of the mask. Anyway, that's basically what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. To sum it all up, you let this gray rock become you you let either a parent or people around you shame you into like dimming your light and like again scooping out that colorful side of you and just becoming a gray hollow shell of your former self and now it's like that fiery part of you is coming out and melting that outer shell away and you literally can't stop it the best thing for you to do is go around people who actually like support these outbursts that you have or who like that side of you, who don't judge you. Cause I feel like the, it's just funny enough, but the the people that are gonna support you in this situation, cause for some reason I cannot speak right now. <laughs> These people, the people, y'all, I'm just gonna wrap it up cause I'm stumbling over my words. But like basically the people that you were shunning or putting down because you thought they were too immature because you were taught that this group of people was immature these are the exact people who are going to be like accepting you and allowing you back in and this girl right here like definitely check out the virgo reading because i kept saying like someone has like a really broad cat eye or sharp cat eye and the queen of swords has it right here and this mermaid here has it right here this blue one and the green one does too i'm getting powerpuff girls energy here so you're the blue one, bubbles. But I'm getting referencing so many different things. Like I'm getting bubbles and I forgot to write down what I got earlier. Son of the mask. Yeah, I forgot to write that down. And baby boy, like there's a movie called Baby Boy, but I was thinking of the song by Childish Gambino when I said that. So you could be having a son soon. Or not not baby boy. I forgot what the song is called by um Childish Gambino. And he says little hands, little feet and he was like describing his child. I think it is called baby boy. 
I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna post the song for you Aquarius and um, I'm gonna post it on the community channel or I'm gonna put it in the title I'm writing it down right now so I don't forget <laughs> I should have did this live because I feel like I'm talking directly to y'all. Like we're having a good old chat about all these things right now. Um, but yeah, I feel like you get the message by now. Your truth, it just, that's what's coming out. Ace of Swords, your truth, Queen of Swords. You tried to hide it for a while. People tried to like shun it or put it away for a long time. Maybe you tried to drink it away, smoke it away, whatever it was. And that's another song where it's the long, cranes in the sky. Yeah, I'm going to get off because I keep like quoting shows and movies and it's kind of like making me feel all over the place. So I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, her Etsy is linked below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.